It's a dramatic new development in the drug-related death of a Grayson County toddler. Good evening. I'm Vicki Dorn. And I'm Rick Van Hoos. Tonight, that little boy's death is no longer ruled an accident. His grandmother and her husband are now behind bars after a grand jury indicted them for the child's overdose. It's a story WLKY's Marissa Alter has followed from the beginning. She joins us now with the latest. Marissa? Vicki Keaton Runsvold died from a lethal narcotics cocktail, but it turns out he tested positive for an illegal drug, too. And more importantly, so did the two people who were supposed to be looking after him. I want justice for that baby. That baby's a lover. All he ever wanted to do was hug and kiss. That's what Tammy Barlow told us in January after her son's 22 month old child died while in the care of his other grandmother. She's now one step closer with this. Maternal grandmother Lana Brown is charged with second degree manslaughter for Keaton Runsvolt's death. So is her husband, Ben Brown. That's after the local Commonwealth's attorney brought the case to a grand jury last week. Based on our investigations and the toxicology reports, that's how the indictment came back, and they've been lodged in the Grayson County Detention Center. Toxicology tests revealed the little boy died from a mix of oxycodone, alprazolam, and clonazepam, medications all legally prescribed to Lana Brown. But Kentucky State Police now say Runsvold also had an illegal drug in his system, and so did the two adults he was staying with. According to our investigators, the child and also both the adults that were present in the home at the time have all tested positive for methamphetamine. Police say that led to criminal charges, something the toddler's paternal grandmother has pushed for since it happened. Well, my first reaction was, I thank God, sir, my prayers have been answered. Barlow had no idea about the meth until we told her. She still has lots of questions about what happened inside the Brown's Caneyville home eight months ago. At the time, Lana Brown told WLKY her daughter left her two kids there and took off. Then one morning, she found Runsvold unresponsive, she said, after he swallowed household cleaner. That wasn't true. They took an innocent little life that we can't never get back. Police won't go into the specifics of their case, such as whether Runsvold got a hold of the drugs on his own or was fed them by the Browns. But a second degree manslaughter charge suggests the grand jury didn't believe the two meant for him to die. It's heartbreaking. Now, the Browns have their first court hearing tomorrow morning. If convicted of second degree manslaughter, they face a five to ten year sentence. I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News. Thanks, Marissa. Lana and Ben Brown are each, uh, I should say, Lana and Ben Brown are each being held on a $150,000 cash bond at the Grayson County Detention Center. Ben Brown is also charged with being a persistent felony offender.